Hey, well, good morning there, my YouTube channel. Um, been in hibernation for the last couple of days. I did not realize how bad my body was wanting to rest. Um, like I said before, I'm not 18 or 21 anymore, so I can't be going like that. You can still see some bags underneath my eyes right there. <laughs> Anywho, um, tonight I'm going to go ahead and take a break from the whole motivational thing. Because this channel is pretty much just to help people, but it's also, you know, able for me to talk about some things that has nothing to do with life, that has nothing to do with, you know, trying to, I guess, be Eric Thomas or Dwayne The Rock Johnson or any of those people who I watch being motivational. Um, what I am going to talk about right now for the next couple of minutes is a Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline. Because... <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why, but I get so irritated and I get so frustrated with the way that DC comic fans and comic book fans of both Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, it doesn't matter, whichever one, they had a problem with Frank Miller's take on All-Star Batman and Robin. Now, let me just point out a couple things. Number one, <laughs> yes, I get it. Batman's not supposed to be abusive. He's not supposed to do what he did in that comic book. I get that. However... There's multiverses. There's different versions of Batman, and that could have been a multiverse. I mean, Frank Miller wrote The Dark Knight Returns, The Dark Knight Strikes Back, and The Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, which have been some of the best stories I've ever read. Everyone gives their take, oh, well, The Dark Knight Strikes Again or whatever was just horrible. And my only point is, is number two, why is it that that comic book gets so much of a bad rap, yet nobody really jumps on the case of Superman killing Shazam and Injustice 1, the video game, by burning his eyes out and by, you know, frost-breathing his mouth so he couldn't say his word. And the fact that Wonder Woman killed the same superhero, yet he was in his 14-year-old self. So that's, what, I mean, that's just what I don't get. You know what I mean? And they have this whole Crisis on Infinite Earths um, episode crossover coming up on December 8th. And I just wanted to share my take on this because it's like... Okay, well, we can't have Batman be, abu be abusive towards Robin and be saying, I'm the goddamn Batman and um, I'm going to go ahead and do this and that and watch these criminals burn while I have sex with Black Canary. Yet nobody frowns on the fact that Superman killed a 14-year-old boy with his heat vision and the fact that Wonder Woman killed the same 14-year-old boy with her sword. <laughs> I mean, like, that's just, I don't get it, you know, so... Time right now is 12.25. I need to get this workout in. I'll see you guys in a couple hours, but I just wanted to share that. Everybody have a good night.